EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for April 21st, 2020. We will have a cold front moving through the region today. And uh, so we're expecting some showers coming in, maybe in the later, uh, latter part of the morning, moving across uh, the state and uh, moving into New Jersey. After that, it's going to be a prefrontal line at first and then a chance for scattered thunderstorms, especially in the far eastern parts of our state. I think it's mostly there. Uh, and then uh, it may be a little bit uh, strong to severe across New Jersey, maybe parts of Delaware as it crosses the Delaware River. I really don't think you're getting into severe weather. I know the Storm Prediction Center has this a little bit further west. Uh, maybe closest areas closest in eastern Pennsylvania to the Delaware River. So places like Philadelphia, maybe just the eastern parts of the Lehigh Valley, up the eastern parts of the Poconos. Not impossible to see that, but it might not be the traditional thunderstorm in the sense you're thinking, where you have thunder, lightning, that kind of stuff. It's not... Uh, it might not be uh, any lightning at all. It could be just very little or no lightning, and it could just be a convective line of showers that moves through or rain, and then it's uh, some gusty winds associated with it, maybe even some hail and some of the heavier squalls. So uh, that is possible mainly in the early to mid-afternoon hours. This is going to come through rather quickly. By the time we get to late afternoon, it should move off the coast, and then we're going to have cooler air settle in behind this with mostly clear skies overnight. And we're going to turn breezy after this frontal passage later uh, this afternoon and then going through the overnight. And that's actually going to continue into Wednesday morning. Still going to be breezy, not quite as breezy as today and uh, uh, this evening. It'll be uh, diminishing somewhat, but maybe up to 25 mile per hour gusts on Wednesday. Today, you can get up to 35 once that front passes. With this line of storms, though, some areas could get a little bit stronger winds with the gust front as it comes through. So here's a look at 9 a.m. Not really too much going on in the eastern part of the state. Having showers moving in to the western side. The front's still way back here between Buffalo and Erie, and this is all prefrontal nonsense here. So this is going to move through, and you have a few showers with that, and this is looking at 11, p 11 a.m. So you can see the prefrontal showers moving ahead, and then the main line moving into uh, northwest Pennsylvania here at this point, moving south and east. So this line will move into New Jersey uh, with just the prefrontal activity. The actual line of storms will move through in the early to mid-afternoon hours. Now, it's not really going to be too organized again until you get to the far eastern parts of the state, right there. And you see that right as it just gets east of uh, maybe from Lancaster to Allentown. Eastern part of the Poconos might get into some stronger storms, but when I say stronger, it could be absent of lightning. It could just have uh, winds 40 to 50 mile per hour in top gusts. Still gusty, but not technically severe by National Weather Service Definition of a severe, which is 58 miles per hour greater. Could have some small hail up here, uh, maybe marble size, nickel size hail, as some of these in these stronger cells where as it moves through, that is not uh, impossible either. Once it moves to New Jersey, I think you have a better chance at the stronger storms becoming severe. So once it crosses the river, we'll watch that here for some stronger activity as it passes into New Jersey. But again, it's late afternoon. Uh, this is uh, e exiting the coast, and then we're going to turn mostly clear overnight tonight. So again, I'm not really thrilled with the Pennsylvania locales with severe weather. Still could be some gusty winds, maybe a little bit of lightning, but I wouldn't count on it. And uh, some some hail that's uh, maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch tops. I don't see it being too big of a deal there either. When you get to New Jersey, we could have some severe locally uh, severe isolated though across the state of New Jersey today. So that's where your severe weather threat is. Now, going beyond this, I mentioned the cold that's coming in for Wednesday. It's mostly sunny, breezy, 50 to 55 ish north to south. It's not going to be too uh, too warm here. So that's uh, normal highs this year. Usually about 10 degrees warmer than that. And uh, I will tell you right now, this entire seven day period, you will not see normal temperatures at all. Okay, the entire seven day period through the weekend and early next week, we are not dealing with. And actually beyond that, if I looked at the Euro Weeklies this evening, and it's looking like it's going to extend beyond that and go right into the first week of May with slightly below average temperatures. So I don't think you're seeing average even. Uh, in the week ahead, but it will be mostly sunny Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is still going to be in the 50s as well. And we have this next system coming at us that's going to bring in uh, you know, cloudy skies, mainly cloudy, cloudy with showers moving in late in the day and the evening. Those showers will continue overnight into Friday morning, and then it becomes partly cloudy. You get a little window of a break in here uh, Friday night and again on Saturday. Saturday, we're expecting partly cloudy skies. Temperatures might get above 60 in some locations. Still not mid 60s, so it's going to be. It's going to be a little bit below average slightly, but still technically not near average. Okay, so a uh, nice day Saturday, though, regardless. And then the, we have uh, clouds increased during the evening on Saturday. We have another system with its associated upper-level upper low that's going to affect us then from Saturday night 
through the day here on Sunday and then a few showers left over here on Monday morning before this finally pulls away. Uh, during that stretch there, Sunday, Monday, we're looking at temperatures going back into the middle 50s for highs. So again, this is not normal for this time of year. It's supposed to be the mid-60s, not mid-50s. But this is what we're going to be dealing with through the end of this month and maybe what's looking like more and more likely the first week of May as well with slightly below average temperatures. Now, we did have that in a long-range outlook that I updated on a Friday. Uh, a couple days prior to that, it looked like we were going to end this pattern a little sooner and then we changed. And then when I did the long range on Friday, I adjusted for that. And um, we did expect these slightly below average temperatures to continue into the first week of May. So this is not a surprise. But if you want to know the, the reason why, I'm going to give you a little bit of a reason here. Uh, there's a couple things. We have first, uh, this is going out way to the end of the month here. This is the 28th, 29th time frame. And you can see this big ridge out here in the Western United States. This is almost like a, an ideal winter pattern. Okay. Big ridge out here. Positive PNA. Uh, so we have a trough in the east here. The trough means cooler air. And that's what's going on here. And what's driving this is a very long jet extension going across the Pacific. So this is what's kicking up the ridge on the western United States. This is something you'd like to see in wintertime if you're a snow lover. Of course, it's not winter, so you're dealing with like a raw, chilly rain. And uh, so we're not dealing with any snow coming up here. But uh, this, is, this jet extension is a large reason why we're having that big ridge in the western United States and the trough in the east. As long as this hangs around, the longer this hangs around here, uh, we will have, uh, you know, ridging the western United States and giving us the trough and cooler air and not allowing us to get to at least normal. Even normal, I think a lot of us would take right now because the mid-60s sounds nice, doesn't it? Uh, but as long as we have that, we will stay cooler and unsettled, it looks like, through at least the first week of May. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for April 21st, 2020. Have a great Tuesday.